Okay, so today uh, we're going to be looking at the uh, mirror alignment. Um, first of all, uh, we want to familiarise ourselves with the location of each mirror. Um, so there is one mirror here, um, there's another mirror just on the inside here, um, and then there's also another mirror round the back, located right there. And to do a mirror alignment, what we are going to have to do is a uh, pulse test. Um, and for that, what we want to do is come round to the back of the machine, um, lift up the panel, and then place some double-sided sticky tape over the mirror there. Okay, and then you want to shut the lid, go round and do a pulse test just once. Come back round, open the lid up, and you should see a mark on the tape where the beam is hit. Um, the thing with this. Um, mirror is that if the beam does not hit the mirror exactly in the center and um, to adjust this uh, mirror what you can actually do is there's a plate on the bottom that has two screws in and what you can do is loosen those screws and it'll give you the ability to adjust the mirror back and forward um, and then you'll obviously retighten those screws then to make sure it is securely in place um, now the next uh, pulse test that we're going to be doing is from mirror one to mirror two now that's the mirror at the back to this mirror here um, and what we are going to want to do is move the gantry all the way to the back of the machine and then you're going to want to cover the, the hole where the mirror is with the double sided tape and once that's covered then you want to press the pulse button you want to bring the lid down and then press the pulse button once and then from that then we should be able to see where the beam is hit on that piece of tape. Um, now the next uh, pulse test that we're going to be doing is from mirror one to mirror two now that's the mirror at the back to this mirror here um, and what we are going to want to do is move the gantry all the way to the back of the machine and then you're going to want to cover the, the hole where the mirror is with the double sided tape and once that's covered then you want to press the pulse button you want to bring the lid down and then press the pulse button once and then from that then, we should be able to see where the beam is hit on that piece of the tape. Uh, the next step for the mirror alignment then is going to be from mirror 2 to mirror 3. Um, and for this we're going to want to do four pulse tests, one in each corner. Okay, so first things first, we want to place some tape over the mirror. Okay, just like that. Um, and then we're going to want to move that laser head all the way to the far left, as close as possible to the mirror. Um, and then you want to close the lid. Do one quick pulse and then from that there should be a mark on that tape where the beam is hit okay um, and then keeping that tape on there then we're going to move the laser head all the way over to the right and do the same thing again bring the lid down do one quick pulse lift the lid back up and you should see a mark on that where that beam is hit Okay, and then to do another test, we're going to bring the gantry all the way down to the bottom right. Okay, closing the lid. Okay, do one quick pulse. Okay, bring the lid back up. And there should be the laser beam is hitting the mark exactly. And then one final test. Bring the mirror all the way back over to this end. Bring the lid down. One quick pulse. Lift the lid back up, and we should see that the beam has hit that tape. Okay, now as we can see on the tape, it is over to the side a little bit, but it is within that circle, so it is fine. Um, and then the last final bit of the alignment um, is going to be from mirror three down to the end of the nozzle. Um, and what we want to do for that is place some tape underneath the nozzle, close the lid, press the pulse button once. Lift the lid back up, and from that, if the beam is directly in the centre of that nozzle, we should get a circle on the piece of paper. Okay. So um, what I'm going to show you now is just how to adjust the mirrors. Um, as you can see, this would be the back plate, um, and what, what you'd want to do is, um, I just want to put emphasis on only undoing one screw at a time. Um, and what you are going to want to do is adjust the locking nut there, you want to turn it anti-clockwise to loosen it and clockwise to tighten it, um, 
and what you want to do is adjust each one very slowly, just a micro of a fraction, and then when that's done, you want to do a quick pulse test to make sure that it hasn't gone out too far, and then adjust it accordingly. And then when you are finished, make sure you do tighten all the locking nuts back up um, so there isn't any movement on the mirror.